You know, the First Amendment that guarantees religious freedom has been distorted to be interpreted that religion and faith must be purged from our public square. One liberal governor is lining up the blacks in his state to give them free health care, free vaccine, free abortion. This couldn't get any more embarrassing. This is humiliating. Hush, I'm glad I don't live in Kentucky to have to get in that line. Family is the source of life and growth. Families build values. They encourage or discourage their children in school and out. The, the premise of the Black Lives Matter uh, Foundation and the movement for black lives is that police brutality is epidemic black lives. We are endangered. You know, there's this epidemic of the killing of black lives by police, and the numbers don't bear that out at all. I am 11 times more likely to be, be killed by someone of my complexion than a white person. As a Christian, I reject the worldview that, first of all, an entire people group can be blamed. There, is, there are so many negative outcomes of the absence of a father, yet they don't mention fathers at all. We must distinguish between symptoms and causes. If you eliminate police, you are creating anarchy. It's guaranteed. The system broke down. There were no, there were no laws. And Mussolini came and said, I'll fix it. And they turned over their country to a fascist. Boys and girls need married parents? Boys and girls need parents. They need firm, stable homes. They need faith. They need God. They need all of those things that make human beings better human beings. Very few are being honest about the real problems and the cause of racial disparities in America. And I was asked this question about whether we can somehow penetrate our separate stories. And my answer was, that's exactly the problem. They have imprisoned us in separate stories. But we can yeah. only have separate stories if we have not, in fact, accepted Christ. Because everyone who's accepted Christ has one narrative, one story. Yeah. We have many who are within our own ranks who are dropping out and Satan is taking over. God does not need a huge army. He just needs an army that will stand. These topics and more will be my discussion today on Cure America as we look once again at the burden of race and rage.